The Columbia City Council isn't ready to just give up on the idea of the new surveillance camera software for police. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. I'm Marissa Holloway. And I'm Lucas Geisler. After a tense meeting that lasted more than five hours last night, the Columbia City Council voted against using the FUSIS surveillance software in a four to three vote. ABC 17's Layla Mitchell's live from Columbia City Hall and was at that meeting last night. Layla, some people you spoke with today tell you they were in support of FUSIS. Yeah, Marissa Lucas, I went into the city today to speak with residents and businesses. You know, they tell me it's just been a scary few weeks with the mass shooting in Colorado at LGBTQ club. And recently, four college students in Idaho stabbed to death. They said they were reminded that anything can happen, and they actually think that a system like FUSIS would be beneficial. But that's not completely what we heard last night. A lot of people were against it last night. And since the council did not approve it, people are wondering what happens next. Bill 32622, Ms. Buffalo? Yes. Ms. Fowler? No. Ms. Wainer? No. Mr. Lovelady? No. Mr. Foster? No. Mr. Pitzer? Yes. Ms. Peters? Yes. All right. One day after the Columbia City Council voted to not approve a crime surveillance system for the Columbia Police, a local downtown Columbia business told me if it protects the downtown district, they're in support. Downtown safe is important to us. It's important to our guests. So anything that we can do to make sure that the police are just better prepared to uh, take care of the community, we're all for. But it was clear from last night's meeting, the community is split. And for many, FUSIS feels unsafe. I'm incredibly glad that it didn't pass tonight. It felt like they were looking for people like me, white business owners downtown, to show up and support the police. And I'm incredibly glad that that's not really what happened tonight. Surveillance without problem, without the checks and balances of asking permission or asking for a warrant not only violates that Fourth Amendment, it also leaves room for abuse to go unnoticed and unpunished. Last night, council members expressed concern over the policy, saying it was unclear, unfinished, and left them with a lot of questions. I am no longer comfortable supporting this software system. Nowhere in the policy does it outline the types of crimes that pieces could be used for. Um, I find myself wanting to table this altogether. I don't think that this system is building any type of trust. The council is not yet ready to give up on the idea and wants more information from other cities that use the software. The council voted seven to zero to look at using a community group that would oversee police use of the software should the council ever buy it. And I reached out to the city and the Columbia Police Department to hear what's next, what steps they plan to take next and kind of get a time frame from them. I've not yet heard back. For now, reporting live in Columbia, Layla Mitchell, ABC 17 News. All right, Layla, thank you. Today we got a statement from the Downtown Community Improvement District, which supports FUSIS. It said, quote, council has made its decision, and while this is not the outcome that the board supported, we understand and look forward to more discussion on this topic, end quote. Now that brings us to our ABC 17 News question of the day.